this is not the end. Many adults will tell you it comes to a point where these grades, these numbers on a piece of paper, they are a distant memory. It's that time of the year again where students across the country are waiting for their GCSE results, which will be dropping next week. Now, I know that so many of you wouldn't have experienced a very good summer as you would like to have had, because as we got closer and closer to this particular day, you were getting more anxiety, more excitement, maybe some of you. In this video, I will be going over what happens when you've received good news and of course what happens when you don't receive such good news. So stay tuned and keep watching. And of course, if you're an A-level student, you can also benefit from this video because I'll be sharing some tips that you can also apply. Now, before we go any further, it's important for you to realize that these feelings of anxiety, excitement, despair, all of these kind of feelings are perfectly normal because you've worked really, really hard over so many years, the next steps that are available to you will depend on how you performed in these exams. So feeling like this is perfectly normal. So don't worry too much. Now, your results are very important to you right now, but many adults will tell you that it comes to a point later on in life where these grades, these numbers on a piece of paper, they are a distant memory. That doesn't mean that you don't treat these grades with the respect and the importance that they deserve because ultimately they are opening up the next steps to your future, whether that's further education, apprenticeships, courses, these will help you get to where you want to get to in life. Having said that though, they are not the final word on who you are and what you can achieve later on in life. So let's start off with the positive. Let's say you've done really well, you've got the grades that you were hoping for. I have three things that I want you to take note of. Number one, celebrate your success. You've worked really hard, you've shown the dedication, so make sure that you celebrate this because you have truly earned these. Number two, plan your next steps. Whether that is to continue down the further education route, do some apprenticeships or whatever, make sure it's something that aligns with your interests and something that you see success in later on in life. Understand that this is your journey, so make it count. And finally, number three, stay focused. Just because you've earned these grades, it doesn't mean that you can take a step back and start to relax, start to get complacent. The journey has just begun. Remember, success is not a destination, rather it is a journey. So this is your journey of success, so keep going. Now, for those of you who receive your grades next week and you perhaps did not get the grade that you so desired, you are perhaps disappointed, then there are four things that I suggest that you look to do. Number one, take some time to process what just happened. Naturally, you would feel very disappointed and very down, but it's important that you don't stay in this zone for too long because there are decisions to be made. And this takes me to number two, which is to look at your options. Go and speak to your teachers or a careers advisor about what you can do next. There are alternative routes available. It could be that you consider resetting some of the exams. It could be that you consider vocational courses or you start looking at different courses altogether that might suit you better. Number three, make a new plan. Use this as an opportunity to reassess your goals. Maybe this is a sign that a different path may be better suited to you. Or perhaps you just need to work a lot harder than you currently have to get to where you want to go. And finally, number four, stay positive. Remember, this is not the end. Many people have faced setbacks and gone on to still achieve great things in life. Your journey is unique to you. So don't worry about anyone else. Keep going. There will always be more opportunities to succeed in something. So keep a lookout for those. Overall guys, I know it feels like the calm before the storm. So take a deep breath, keep going, keep striving. And remember, you are more than just a grade. Goodbye for now.